Now we've got the Knight Rider theme tune, we should merge it with the Knight Rider Larson scanner effect. If you remember, that made the LEDs light up in a sequence. We add our pins here, and as you can see, we've got five LEDs again. The only problem is, the previous approach, as I said, was not elegant, it was quite bulky. But we've got a new way of doing it in this version, and it's a little bit more flexible and it allows you to create more effects for yourself. You could extrapolate this to create lighting effects for a Christmas tree, or for a light-up sign, or wherever you're going to need some blinky LEDs. And what we're doing is creating an array of bytes. We've got 13 in our sequence, and each one of these bytes is going to use binary to represent whether the LED should be on or off. So the rightmost LED is on here and the rest are off. The right two most bits are on and so on and so on and so on. Now when we start playing our tune, we can go through each row of that array and we can read to see if the bit we care about is on or off and pass that as high or low to the digital right. So bit read reads just that one bit from the byte that we get back. And here we're reading the furthermost bit, then the second bit, third, fourth. Then we use the built-in delay that comes with the music library. And we wait 80 milliseconds, just enough that it's not too fast, not too slow. And then we increment the row that we're on. And if we get to the end, then we switch back to the first and we loop around. And that'll keep going forever. So have a play with this and see what other patterns you can create. I'm just doing a Larson scanner, but you could do all kinds of patterns just by increasing the number of rows or changing which bits are on or off. The problem with using one pin per LED is you might run out of pins, even on an Arduino Uno. If you're doing things like having a speaker, then you've got buttons and you want to do other things. And then you would want LEDs on top. You don't really want to use eight pins if you want to have eight LEDs. Fortunately, in a lot of kits, and if you didn't get one in the kit, they're very cheap, you can get a shift register. The most popular one is the 74HC595. It's called a serial to parallel converter, but for this, all we're going to do is use its eight output pins and three input pins to generate the same sequence but with eight LEDs. So we're going to use three pins, five volts, and ground, and we're going to get eight outputs. And using the code that we've already produced, it's very simple to tweak it ever so slightly to use the shift register. We have our music at the top, just the same. And where it changes is, obviously having eight outputs allows us to make a more dynamic pattern. And because we've got more LEDs and I'm doing a Larson sequence, I've expanded it to 19. So that all of the LEDs are brought into play. We use the same sequencing. The only difference is, instead of using the digital write on each bit, we send all of the information as a byte out to the shift register. So we tell the latch to go low, we send the data 
and then we set it high and that moves all of the information through the shift register out to the output. So anytime you want to send some information to the shift register, you set it low, you send the output, and then you set the latch high and it executes. We increment, same as before, if we get to the end, we set it to zero and so on.